This king here wasn't looking good. I just, I don't want you to get it wrong here. All right. He was literally a huge man. Obese <laughs> man. He was fat. And you don't get that way just by looking at food. All right. I know some of y'all in here, that's what you think. You think you can just look at stuff and get fat. You can't do it. I know you, you, you remark that I can tell you, look at King. <laughs> and the biggest lie I've ever told you, can't look at that. <laughs> if that be the case, then go to the grocery store, don't buy none, and just empty the bucket. Tell the kids, run down, whatever I want. No. <laughs> Don't worry about looking. Right. The problem is you bring that to the church. Uh -huh. right. And you said if I can look at food and gain weight, I ought to be able to just look and serve All right. and get my praise on. All right. And that's what you do, you just come in here and look. All right. And some of you think, I, I don't have to put nothing in the collection plate. All I need to do is look. Just look. <laughs> <laughs> it's just look at. I promise you it won't fill up just by looking at it. It's not what you want that makes you fat, it's what you get. Mm -hmm. And so here, we understand this man was large and he heard said, I, evidently he likes to eat. So let me give him something, perhaps, that would encourage him. Something that perhaps he can smell All right. from a distance. Or he can see. Yes. I don't know what he took. Probably something breathed, probably something sweet that had the room. Let's just imagine it was chicken leg or something. All right. In my case, imagine it was mox <laughs> <laughs> right. yes, yeah. They smell a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's just imagine they were chilling. Now, only folk that like to. Is the one that's gonna go smell. Yes, and really like the smell. Other folk, when they smell to that, mm. <laughs> that don't taste well. No, baby, you trying to taste the name or taste the smell. You can't do neither one. And chili good. I ain't trying to make you eat them. That's gonna be more for me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand that when he had this stuff, he said, hey, I got something for you, King. And King perhaps better, and he said to the guards, okay, Moses. Let him right there. Yes. Let him come. Yes. yes. And so he probably walked up with you. They probably expected this. <laughs> and then he said, You guys could sit on outside. He's going to come to my quarters. And he got up in the chamber and he he said, King, I have a message from God for you. And the king said, probably gonna be like that shit. Come closer. Give it to me. All right. He heard said, do you really want it? He said, yes, give it to me. And so he, he pulled back and moved the dagger from the right thigh. I told you that right thigh means something. Why? Because right-handed had it on there. Yeah. All right. right. He would have made it, never made it past the guard. That's right. They searched the moment. Had he in the right hand. All right. Because they was right hand. They right. supposed uh -huh. him to be right hand. Come on. All right. Only God uh -huh. can go the other way. All right. Some of you think that God didn't get you this way and he gets you that way. Only in the country when they say, don't get you in the washing. You don't get you in the rent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. God got a way that's unlike ours. And God chose this left-hand man because he knew he was going to do something just common. Yes. That was going to be uncommon to everybody else. Had it been a right-hand man, he would have to train him how to use his left hand. All right. And that's what's wrong with some folks in here now. That God got to train you too much to do stuff. You have to be trained how to come into church. Trained when to come to church. Trained what to say to you. Trained what to give. Trained.
train how to forgive you. Train how to love. Some things you ought to just know naturally. But you ought to be trained to do. Learn how to pick a mate you can stay with long enough. All right. All right. You ought to be trained to get with somebody that's going to say, I do. All right. Come on now. Come on. All right. Come on. Preach. Got it. And the Bible said he launched it into his belly. Mm. Yes. I'm going to try to speed it up, but I got one more point. I'm yes. Saying. Put it in the belly. Mm -hmm. And he put it in, not just pricking it. Some of you, you got, you got a word. Mm -hmm. But you prick folk with your word. All right. <laughs> you say amen, but you say it no. All right. Come on. All right. Yes. You don't stand on it. Yes. yes. You say hallelujah, but you say Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Come on. But you not put your way on. That's my put your way on. This man knew that he had some at least 10 inches long. Mom man wasn't going to get it in. All right. All right. Standing back pricking wasn't going to get it in. He had to put his weight on. So he ran back. And put it in. The Bible said he put it in so deep that even the hell went in. That's right. Now listen. He didn't try to make it stay in it, did he? Uh -huh. No. Because when he put it in, the Bible then said that the fat covered over the house. Yes, that the fat is what held it in. Uh -huh. All his job was to do was just put it in that deep. Yes. He put it in there, the fat came over. And then he said the dirt came out. Tell about the dirt came out. Yes. I must have get to that point because uh -huh. I want to make something. Yes, sir. When he put it in, it came there, and the dirt came out. Uh-huh. The Bible All right. came out. Yes. Then Peter cleaned himself off. Uh-huh. He said, I gotta get out. Tell him I gotta get out. Yeah, gotta get out. If God gets you in a situation, he gets you out. Get you out. Come on. Anybody here wanna know how to get out? Come on. You already know how to get in it, don't you? Right. Okay. You gotta know how to get out. You just can't up and just get out in any kind of way. Right. You got to know how to get out. You clean yourself up. In order to get out of this world and go to hell, you got to clean yourself up. Yourself. All right. Yes, Don't go and ask forever to clean you up. Right. Oh, Lord. No. Come on. You got to learn how. Mm -hmm. Clean yourself up. Expect for the deacon to clean you up. All right. Clean yourself up. Clean yourself up. He said, I got to get out. I got to get out. Okay. I got to take back. What I brought with me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, the knife is in the belly. Uh -huh. He said that was mine. That was a brother. Just about that was a brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, some of you want me to take your sermon back to Birmingham. I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get all this message out because this is a brother. Well, don't never take a prayer with home. <laughs> Give it to them. All right. What you choose to do with it ain't none of my business. All right. So he said, I'm leaving now. I just need to get myself out and clean it. Yes. So he said, I gotta get out. And when we got to the door, he said, hold on a minute. Let me check it. Uh-huh. You'll be glad we don't have no guards here. All right. Some of you couldn't get out of here. All right. <laughs> yeah, Bill, check your baby man. <laughs> Check and see if you tired and I'll tip. All right. you, you don't get out tipping, you get out tired. Right. <laughs> Some of you couldn't get out. You used to be next week when, I, when they come in here, they used to still be in. Yeah. Yeah. You want to let me out? That's it, bro. All right, all right. All right. Stuck in this place. Put wait on it. Put wait on it. They checked it. Yes, sir. They said, you can leave. Uh-huh. And that's when you let off. And then it said, they tagged. Until the point of embarrassment. Yeah. All right. I, I want you to stick up your hand. All right. I want to make this point. And they tear it. And they waited. They waited. They waited. And they waited until they got embarrassed. Mm -hmm. The two men were standing outside. Uh -huh. See, this is what I'm going to God wasn't waiting that Eglon would die. All right. No, Eglon was dating. That's right. When he got the message. All right. All right. He was dead when he got the message. When he got the present. All right. He 
was dead. I don't want to wait for him to die. They was waiting 